Hey YouTube, it's the Kikarin, and today we will be talking about my all-time favourite game, Okami. This is more a passion project kind of video, so with all the honour in I can muster from my heart, let's get into this. Okami was one of those games that used rare artistic perfection in its style as well as providing an engaging and fascinating adventure. It had its re-release in high definition back on the PS3, looking even better, showing off exactly why it's regarded so highly by games everywhere. Now 11 years after its initial release, and 5 after the HD version, Kami is back once again, featuring the same HD and 1080p graphics as the 2012 re-release. But now we're treated to 4K res resolution, do we really need to see it again? Again though, and it does manage to come close to the quality we get to see on a regular basis in today's gaming world. The answer? It's most definitely. Okami is one of the finest video games of the last 20 years, and there's a reason Capcom has decided to bring it out once more. They bring it out on every recent console. Name a console, Okami's on it. It's been quite remarkable to see something new from them. However, as this was such a revolutionary title in game design, that something fresh would have probably never been more appreciated. Nevertheless, getting to spend time with such. Mm. Nevertheless, getting to spend time with Ami and Isun once again is such a welcome feeling. If you're new to Okami HD, it follows the story of Amato Latsu and her quest to recover the 13 powers of the Celestial Brush. An evil monster called the Roach has returned, and as the goddess of the sun, in the embodiment of a gorgeous white wolf, you must find these powers. You must find these powers to vanquish the evil curse that has beset Kamiki Village and the world around it. Amatolazu, or Ami for short, sets off on a journey to recover these powers, meeting some wonderful characters and seeing some beautiful sights. It's quite an achievement for a game to look this good in 2017, especially as it came out over a decade ago. It performs with no technical holdups, with areas transitioning smoothly and cutscenes flowing without any awkward cuts or broken lines of, di of dialogue. Great for the Kami HD is the length of some of, the, of, some of these cin cinematics and the conversations. I never like to skip, but some are too long for me. Saying that, that, that they're there to tell a tale, and the tale of Akami is one of the finest out there, even now. But also with the cutscenes, they are beautifully done. They are transitioned perfectly from text to thing, and although there is a lot of text, and you can't mash for it too well, you can skip, but some can't be skipped. So, eh, it's kind of here and there, but let's move on. The coloured art style and the canvas background are still breathtaking, with the, the most lush of scenes coming when you return to the land to its ever, evergreen and flowery scenery. Some locations are cursed and soaked in black, but beating the creatures in these locations will allow you to see the be true beauty on offer. The blossom trees and the mountain ranges synonymous with Japanese landscapes look utterly magnificent and every single location offers such a rich look into the culture and history of a wonderful country. The gameplay is relatively smooth with combat being straightforward and easy to approach. If a little rudimentary, the boss battles are fun but the general fighting can become repetitive. Movement is also fluid but the camera angles can let it down at times. Sometimes moving around the environment and trying to get a good look at certain areas can be hindered by this. When the heat of battle, trying to see all the enemies can be tricky because the angles don't always allow you to see everyone. One of the nicest features is the celestial brush. And as a Matalasu, you get to paint the world and use the brush to solve puzzles and battle enemies. When using the brush, the screen pauses, allow allowing you to paint something. For example, you can turn the night into day by drawing a circle in the sky, creating the sun. Rebuild, rebuild, broken, rebuild broken objects, slash obstacles by drawing a line through them, or building bridges by painting lines from one place to the next. It's a great mechanic and one that never feels like a waste of an idea. Always purposeful and necessary. Ogami HD is a medium length game, and while it's stunning and gameplay is varied, some objectives aren't very clear, and the pacing can get a bit wrapped up in its own ideas. 
Thankfully, you'll have plenty to do along the way, such as finding collectibles and levelling by collecting praise. The story is well written, however, and there's a certain level of humour and charm that sets it amongst the genius of Nintendo Zelda games. It's a game that wears its influences on its sleeve and almost manages to match those levels of greatness. This is the perfect time to play. As Christmas approaches and you've worn out every potential Game of the Year candidate, Kami HD is a beautiful, warm, and interesting game that will reward you for your loyalty. And a great game to, draw, to enjoy over the winter period. I doubt there are many people who've played this before and not had something positive to say about it. If you missed it in 2006 and 2012, definitely play this now. On PC, Okami feels similarly refreshed, with the mouse controls have proven to be a perfect fit for Amaterasu's Celestial Brush, with mouse controls proving the perfect fit for Amaterasu's Celestial Brush. Stretch your pinky down to the control key, and you pull up a piece of parchment. Click the left button to press the bristles against it, and then you can easily sweep across, around, or in graceful loops. Or if you're me, the awkward, a lumpy approximation of a loop. The kind that would cause something the Hedgehog a serious injury if you attempt to speed around it. It can be fussy when you're trying to recognise them in your doublings. Actually, it's doubly annoying when your insect size ally Isun cheats you when you've done the right thing, but not quite precisely enough for the game's liking. It's forgiving enough that mistakes are rarely costly. Use, using WSD for movement is an acceptable trade-off. There's controller support here, but drawing doesn't feel nearly as intuitive with the pen. Although when playing on Switch, as I did, it did, it did feel relatively responsive, and it would have been due to Wii motion controls, but PC does give it its slices with brush accuracy to the mouse. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Um, Okami is my favourite game. There's not much more to say about it. While yes, I have said some negative things about the game, no game is perfect. I can, I will never say a game is perfect. Okami is my favourite game of all time, but there are still problems I have with the game. But the problems f are far outweighed by the greatness of the game. So yeah, that's about it. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media or whatnot. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching.